Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going over Q2 of the weekly contest 264, next greater numerically balanced number. So this one, I actually took longer than I really wanted to. Um, took about 10 minutes. I probably should have done this very quickly, but I think one thing I just didn't, I didn't plug in the calculator. I wanted to optimize prematurely, and that's a, a, a super sin that no one should do. Anyway, so... So yeah, so the thing that I notice um, eventually is that you should hit the like button, you should hit the subscribe button, you should join me on Discord and talk about this forum, other forums, how did you do? Talk about, uh, yeah, but, but uh, yeah, so the first thing to notice is that um, you never need more than six um, because for seven, you know, for n is equal to ten to the six. This is going to be your answer. Um, so then here, the two things that um, I noticed, right, um, is that the answer has to be either l, where l is the digit, or sorry, the number of digit of the input, or l plus one. And from that, you can just brute force, um, or the way that I did it is just brute force. And the thing to notice is that. Um, since this has at most, well, if it has seven digits, then it's seven digits. But seven factorial is only 5,040 times, even if you times it by seven or whatever. Hmm. Um, it's going to be only 35,000, so it's going to be blazing fast. Um, but I think for me, I was just trying to figure out a way to figure out if there's like a, a, a way to do greedy. I was trying to make premature optimizations because, for example, my code will, um, not gonna lie, which is maybe not super great, but for example, if you give it, uh, say, 333, three, three, it would actually generate 333 three, 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 three times. Whoops. It would generate three, 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 three times because of the permutation things. Um, so, yeah. But that said, like I said, um, it actually doesn't end up costing you that much um, because seven factorial, as I said, is only 5,000. So I think I was trying to optimize prematurely way too much for this one. And as soon as I um, as soon as soon I, I was like, wait a second, let me plug this in the calculator and make sure that it is worth doing. And it and I was like, no, it is not worth optimizing. So then I just did the proof force thing that you see here, which is that, okay. So I have the best answer. I have this as a, a thing because I wasn't sure that I... I kind of reasoned that this is in a greedy way that this is the biggest answer, but I wasn't sure, so I just this for for just for uh, safety. But um, but yeah, uh, at a certain point, uh, yeah, you just go L. Um, you know, L is the length, so we try all the combinations of length, and we start with one, and this is just I because we go okay. This is a um uh uh. Yeah, for each number, you go, do I use i? Do I not use i, right? If I use i, then it, it takes off i digits. So if it's one, then you go, you know, it takes one digit. If it's two, you need two twos, so it's two digits and so forth. Um, so this is going to um, do that for me. Um, this is if we use i, and other, this is if we don't use i, then we just go to the next i, and of course, we just make sure that, you know, uh, uh, the next i is good enough. Um, but yeah. And, and this, we, we put all the parameters together. Like I said, this will be in sorted order. And then we just do all the permutation of this, which also, as I said, is at most seven factorial. So I'm not even worried about it. And, and then we just check that the conditions, right? Which is the current is bigger than N. Um, and this is because they tell you that it has to be strictly greater than, though it doesn't really matter, right? Because, because it just, you just change the sign. You just have to read that correctly and then get the one that is the smallest after it is bigger than N. Um, and that's pretty much it. So this is way brute force. Oh yeah, and if there's no number of digit length L, which is this case, we try L plus one. I guess in theory we should keep trying more digits, but I think you can do some math to prove that this is always going to be good enough, um, or maybe just exhaustive thing for the first six or any for the first six numbers, right? Anyway, this is going to be L factorial times L, probably something like that. Um, yeah, yeah, something like that. Um, L factorial times L. I mean, even if it's two to the L times L factorial is fast enough, right? No, that's not true. 
Uh, I mean, it'll be a little bit slower, but I think it should be good enough. So yeah. Um, cool. That's all I have for this one. Hit the like button. Hit us. Uh, you can watch me sub live during the contest. Next. We got the really silly problem out of the way. Not not doing very well here. But. For every digit um, T and X, there are exactly T equivalents in digit X. Strictly by one, well, okay. Hmm. Yikes. Okay, we think. Is it just proof force? So this is six, right? So we only have to care about probably like not that many numbers. Ten to the six is what okay, so then now that means that we just have to care about up to seven. That's not even true because because it's just one six 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 six, so we just have to care about up to six. Right? And even six, is that true? I guess this would be a six case. Okay, so we just have to care about six. Um And is that even true? One, two, two, three, three, three. No, but this is the answer, right? Probably, actually. Yeah. yeah okay, that's just to put force then, instead of me guessing it. But there still should be six, right? Because you can do definitely do something like that, like I said. Okay, so how do I do it? Mm. Hmm. Is there an easy way to do it? A lot of people can it though. Is it just proof force? Maybe. Hmm. So we want to try all the numbers of link L and L plus one. Okay, let's try that.
So it does repeat things. That's not good. <clears throat> Though six factorial was six factorial anyway. Six actor is seven twenty, so maybe I shouldn't worry about it. Okay, fine. I mean, even so, seven factorial is only five thousand. Maybe I'm I'm prematurely optimizing too much. Okay. I've been doing that a lot lately. Hmm, that's not right. Um, has to be that. Okay. Oh, right. Mm, I meant to do this, but I actually changed my mind halfway through. Um,
believe I spent so long on this one. It's strictly greater than right? okay. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem, uh, this problem, and my explanation, or whatever you need to do. Uh, stay good, stay healthy, take good mental health. I'll see y'all later. Take care.